So finally, we have the brand new YouTube Essential Pack 2 for Luma Fusion, where you have all different types of animations, subscribe animations, uh, bell icons, comments, share and uh, get notified and so on. Now, even with placeholders for your logos or pictures, like watch this previous video, this video is coming up next and so on. All of the animations, which you can see here on this screen right now, and we're gonna go through the process of how easy it is to use these brand new YouTube essentials. So without further ado, hit that subscribe button. That would be highly appreciated. And if this is the first time that you clicked on any of my videos, I really appreciate that you stopped by. So with that said, also before I forget, if you want free presets in the future, make sure to sign up for the newsletter on rubbishcavlogs.com. Links are down in the description below. All the products are also down in the description below with updated prices and get 70% off of the Creators Bundle 2, which contains some awesome transitions. Also the Vertical Bundle, if you edit vertical videos, Reels for Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, and so on. Everything is down in the description below. With that said, let's head over to the iPad. So future me here, as I was recording this video, I forgot to mention that we have some brand new liquid elements, some shape elements, and also some electric elements on rubbishgavelogs.com. So make sure to check out those as well. Links are down in the description below. So here we have a basic timeline in LumaFusion with a finished edit, which is ready to be uploaded to YouTube or any other social media. But there is something that's missing. We want to add some reminders. We want to add some, some subscribe buttons and some animation to remind people to subscribe, comment, share, and also to watch the previous videos. So if we just go over to the project timeline here of the brand new YouTube Essential Pack 2, uh, we can find something that we want to apply here. So there's a ton of different animations here, over 60 animations that you can choose from. Some has placeholders for photos and text and so on. Like this, for example, here we have Rob HK Vlogs and we can customize the text, the view count, and also the image. So let's go with something else to start with here. Let's go with something basic, which is drag and drop over to your timeline. So we have like, subscribe, and get notified. So what we're gonna do is to multi-select these three layers, then we're gonna select copy from the clipboard, which is down here. Now, after tapping on copy, we can move back over to our main project. And here, we're gonna find the point wherever we want to overlay these animations. So it doesn't really matter where we put them because you can move them around anyway later on once you pasted these in your project. So to paste these, we're gonna go back to the clipboard and then tap on paste. Now we can see that we have the three animations lined up on our timeline. So now we can just multi-select all of them and place them wherever we want to place them. If we take a look at the first one here, we can see it's a little bit big, it's in the middle of the screen, and we want to resize this to be maybe in the bottom left corner. So we're gonna go into edit and over to frame and fit, and then just resize this and place it down in the bottom left corner. Once this is done, we can go back out to the timeline select the clipboard, and then we're gonna tap on copy. Now we're gonna multi-select the two other clips here, and we're gonna go back to the clipboard and choose paste, but make sure that we have the position enabled, which is the left icon. So now that we copied and pasted the animation from the first one, the last two will also be in the same position. So if we play this back, we can see we have the like icon coming up first, and then we have the subscribe icon, and at the end we will have the get notified. Now let's move back to the animation project and see what else we can find to spice up our videos. So back over at the YouTube Essential Pack 2 project, here we have a play animation which has a placeholder for your image in the middle here and also for your YouTube profile picture or for your logo. So you can change up these two as you want. So let's just multi-select these three layers here, go back to the clipboard and choose copy. Now we're gonna go over to our project again and choose paste. After pasting the three layers, we can now play back and see how it looks, and we can also place them in a different position. 
Now, once we're happy with the placement of the animation, we can go into the bottom layer here, which is the image. And at first sight here, you can see that this is a little bit misplaced, but that doesn't really affect the animation because this is within the title section. If we go over to frame and fit, we can see the alignment of the image is fitting perfectly to the animation below. To change the image here, we're going to go over to import image on the right hand side. And here we're going to find whatever image that we want to apply. So typically you would choose something like a thumbnail from one of your previous videos just to remind people that, hey, did you watch this? Did you forget to watch this? This is my previous video. It's awesome. Go check it out. But we also want to add a different image to the logo or the YouTube profile placeholder, which is on the bottom left side here. So we're going to tap on the top layer, which uh, contains the placeholder for this image. And as you can see here, it's fairly small. So there is not that much adjustments that you can do to this because it's already very small. But we can go over to the image placeholder under the title section and we can find a new image that we want to apply. So now that we have the new image applied here, we can see that I don't see my face in this uh, this image now. So what we're going to do now is to go over to frame and fit and then we can go over to cropping and you can see the circular crop which is around creating this uh, circled uh, profile picture here. So. The next thing we want to do is to go over to titles. And once we're inside of titles, we're going to go down to center X. And what we're going to do here is to just move it a little bit to the left. You can do this by tapping on the arrows on the left and right side, which probably would be the best option and then go back and forth between frame and fit and the title section. So it might be a little bit tricky at times depending on the image that you want to apply. But as if you're going to have your profile picture as long as your face and and whatever you want to have as a picture here is in the center of the image, you won't have any problems at all. Now let's move over to the YouTube Essential Pack 2 here and find another animation that we can use. So we have this animation right here which is coming up at the bottom and then you have the placeholder for text and your image. So let's just copy that one and move that over to the timeline and then copy paste it and we have it set on the timeline and we can now place it wherever we want by multi selecting the three layers. If we do a playback of this, we have the animation coming up and we have the text subscribe like and notify and also the image placeholder here. So if we go over and change the text here, just change it to subscribe now and exclamation mark. So make sure to head down to the subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that subscribe button. That would be really appreciated and it helps me reach 100 thousand subscribers which would be awesome now back to the video here and uh, you can now see that the text is a little bit misplaced uh, even if we go back to frame and fit here we can see that the text is sort of overlapping the image here on the left side and we don't want to have that so this is very easy to fix so we're going to go back to the title section and just go down to the center x and move it a little bit to the right and uh, back to frame and fit we now have the subscribe now text placed perfectly and you can also also customize this with different uh, fonts and colors and place it in a completely different place if you want to do that. It's all up to you how you want to customize this. So now we've finished with that, but we want to change the image as well. So back over to the uh, title section of the image layer and then we're just going to change this to something else. So now moving back over to the timeline here, we have the finished animation here. We have a new photo and we have the subscribe now text. So you can now render this out as a transparent uh, video file to have it as your main overlay in your future videos, or you can just copy paste like we just did. Now there is one more animation that you can use both mid video or at the start of the video or at the end of the video when you are closing your video. When your video is done and this is going to be sort of the, the closing point of your video. Now we're also going to multi select it and push it a little bit more to the right so we have it completely at the end. So sort of center the middle of the layers here at the end of your clip just like this. Going into the top layer here, let's change the text here. Let's Let's change this to a next video. 
So now we have changed the text to next video. Let's find one of my earlier thumbnails here and just apply that to the image placeholder. So this can be, you know, a closing point of the video. So a video closer or an end screen, whatever you want to call it, uh, which can remind people, hey, check out this is the next video coming or this is the previous video coming. So check out my profile. Make sure to check out that video as well and subscribe. And that would be awesome. And, and so on. So if we play that back now, after changing the text and the placeholder of the image, we have something that looks like this, uh, which is looking quite awesome if you ask me. All the information to the brand new YouTube Essential Pack is down in the description below amongst with a ton of brand new presets. Also Elements is a brand new preset seller, Whoa, a brand new selection for uh, LumaFusion as well. Check them out down in the description below. You can also preview them on the website. So with that said, that's the end for today. I hope you enjoyed the little preview of the YouTube Essential Pack. Links down in the description below. Subscribe button is down there if you haven't subscribed already. That would be really appreciated. And uh, that's gonna be the end for today. I will see you in the next video.